Okay, here we are with another standard matchup. I'm uh, playing White Weenie. Our opponent is uh, Mono Black Devotion. So uh, we won the roll, which is always nice with this deck. We go play first. Uh, and decent. We've got a couple of one drops, Judge is Familiar, Brock Dryad, Militant, Imposing Sovereign, which is nice. Uh, Brave the Elements and the Boros Charm. Watching the Red Sauce, but uh, I think we should be okay with that. A little for dry milk and now imposing sovereign, which is quite unfortunate. Makes this hand a little bit worse. I would like to drop the second turn there, uh, sovereign. Such an opponent's not really up to much at the moment. And we have the devour flesh, which does in response to moot vault. Not quite sure why people keep doing this. Uh, people, I had this happen quite a lot. We respond to activation of moot vault to try and get rid of the devour flesh and play the Devour Flesh. I suppose I can actually protect Judge Familiar with Brave the Elements, which I can't to Moot Vault, so maybe he wants to get rid of it for that reason, but I think if I was him, I'd be happy if I uh, sacrificed the Moot Vault to the uh, Devour Flesh. So I'm going to attack for 4, going down to 12. Punt still not up to much by the looks of things. So he might have a removal spell, no. So I'm going to be putting down to 8 here. Punt then plays a Desecration Demon. Which is pretty bad news for us. Uh, don't really have any favourable attacks. We could attack with a militant and use Brave the Element. It's not really worth the effort. We're also not really drawing any creatures through Spear, which we're going to play out, but uh, I don't think that's going to be really uh, useful. The opponent plays an Underworld Connection, which then activates the uh, Erebus. So this is an indestructible creature now. Unfortunately, and uh, he's going to swing in. Um, could attack the militant, take less damage. I don't see any real point in doing that. Uh, we do draw a creature here. We attack the six here, putting that opponent down to two. Unfortunately, we're not burn deck, so uh, it doesn't really help. Also, our opponent has hero's downfall for the moot vault. So, uh, yeah. Shit, there's not a whole lot we can do here. He has a grey merchant as well and uh, the life swing is way too big for me to be able to do anything about that so uh, yeah that was game one pretty good for him not so great for us uh, oh, we took a quick mulligan decision there uh, soon it wasn't looking like a great hand uh, this is pretty decent it's only a couple of one drops uh, we've got Diary and Skyject we've got Pacifism as well I like to bring in Pacifism against these decks. They only play like a small number of creatures generally and uh, they're all pretty huge but pacifism deals with most of them. Desecration Demon with a pacifism on it is uh, a lot easier to deal with and uh, also on things like Grey Merchants or anything that just gets in your way you want to get in, you want to get in fast and uh, big creatures on the ground or in the air and create a Desecration Demon kind of uh, prevent that so I quite like pacifism in this matchup. Uh, first turn militant from us into a skyjack. We have attack for two. Uh, run out of sacred foundry here. Play out the judge's familiar. Play the judge's familiar pre-combat. Um, it probably didn't make any difference, but uh, just wanted to know that if he was going to be uh, playing any removal spells like a uh, devour flash or etc. Kind of wanted to know before I attacked. But I uh, don't think it made a whole lot of difference, probably. Uh, I felt like uh, playing out the two one drops was better than activating Moot Vault and getting in for two there. Um, I'm not sure if that was correct necessarily, but I think we might as well play out the cards in our hand while we can. And uh, if we draw another land, we can Pacifism and activate Moot Vault and attack with all of our guys. And uh, if we'd activate the Moot Vault instead, we would have got in for two then, but we would have wouldn't have a one of these guys on the field, so I feel like that was the best way to do that. We play the Night Vale Spectre. We draw another Moot Vault, which is great. Uh, we're going to pass in the Spectre so we can get in with all our guys. Um, we could have got in in any way, I suppose, and uh, obviously just taking the hit of uh, one thing getting blocked, but I think we might as well use this pacifism and get in for the full amount here. So uh, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the uh, opponent down to 3. 
uh, don't believe there's any mass removal in black, so uh, yeah, I think pretty much wraps thing that that up uh, pretty quickly as well on turn four. So uh, that was good for us. Uh, we've gone to game three. Not going to be able to be able to be on the play here probably. So uh, that makes things a little bit tougher for us. Uh, this is a pretty solid hand. Got a precinct captain, opposing sovereign, double soldier of the pantheon. Quite like this hand. So we we'll lean off with soldier. Come plays a pack rat, which is quite interesting. Uh, kind of a difficult card to uh, gauge sometimes how good it is. Um, out for the trade, I'm happy to trade with the pack rat. Uh, but my opponent doesn't take that opportunity. And I'm going to play on the opposing sovereign, which is uh, quite good against pack rat. Means that he can't just uh, instantly speed uh, make a pack rat to block. So I'm going to attack in four here. Um, even if he had made a pack rat, it wouldn't have made any difference. I could have used brave the elements to protect my guys. So uh, that's not really an issue. I'm play out precinct captain here. My opponent's going to make a uh, turn, so he's got two twos now. Uh, I've decided to attack. I actually don't think I thought this properly through, because <laughs> he actually is going to have uh, two three threes, and uh, I hadn't thought it through. I thought I could use brave elements, but uh, I am going to be able to use brave elements, but not. Um, quite as optimally as maybe I could have. So I'm going to use Red Elements here so he can't block. I'm going to deal 6 damage and make a 1-1 one -one token. So he's still a reasonable play I suppose. I just uh, wasn't quite, I didn't quite have the read on the, how Pack Rat worked. So uh, yeah. I, I, it's not really a bad play and uh, double pacifism means that we can probably win next turn depending on what he does. So, opponent plays a Desecration Demon, which is going to play, come into play tapped thanks to the Sovereign. I uh, play out my Temple. Uh, I think we see planes on top, which are going to obviously bottom. Um, so, if we pass with him two of his pack rats, we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage, I think it is. Is that seven? I actually thought about this for a long time, and my opponent actually accused me of slow rolling I think at the end but I think I was one damage short of killing him but I would hopefully I mean next turn I would have won anyway by uh, you know none of my oh, well, one of my creatures would have died so I would have uh, had enough creatures to uh, attack through to get at least one through I would imagine but I don't know uh, I was the reason I was thinking about it was because I was worried that if he plays a uh, Grey Merchant, then we're basically done for. But uh, that was probably true regardless of whether we attacked or not. So, I mean, regardless of whether we uh, pacifismed his two pack rats up or not. So, I think this was the right thing to do. So, double pacifism. And, uh, yeah, I think we would have dealt seven. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, yeah. So, I mean, accuse me of slow rolling, but I, that's not strictly fair, seeing as though I was actually thinking that he's not actually dead, and uh, potentially we could get blown out by some sort of grey merchant or something, or I don't know. But I think that was still the right play to make, and just uh, took a little bit of time to think about. So uh, yeah, uh, another win against Mono Black.